no sooner has the domestic season drawn to a close than suddenly the international window reopens. But gone is the summer jolly against the Barbarians. Eddie Jones has picked his strongest available 15 to take on a Wales side desperate to find some kind of form before they head to the home of world champions New Zealand. For England, three men on debut. Young front rowers Tommy Taylor, and Ellis Genge and versatile back Oli Devoto. Dan Bigger, who has some great memories of this ground. It's inside. Ellis Jenge coming on. To win his first cap. Off goes Matt Mullen. Great moment for Gens. Just signed for Leicester. He's been on loan. He's got from right. Bristol. And the 21 year old into the England front row. He's got a grand total of Premiership. Shooting star. Premiership rugby, what's he played, Miles? About half an hour in his career, total. Well, a year ago, he was making his championship debut for Bristol against Jersey. I'm going to wonder how they let him go. Another sign is Eddie Jones looking very much to the future. Obviously, he's not going to be playing, I think, in Australia first test, but he's a player who wants to fast track him. And Lomsbury responds, there's Genj. A powerful young man. That's why Eddie Jones likes him. Puts himself around, he wants a bit of dog, as he said, on, on the field, some edge. Again, soon he brings that. Quite a few. 14 0 in the line, that's, that's really good foundation stuff. That's your basics that Jones talks about to enable you to do other things. Excellent from Dylan Hartley and his jumpers and catches. Okay, I'll be disappointed with the kick, but it still might work. Not exactly where he wanted it, but. Dinge showed it. Got it back, but only after the ball had been fumbled forward. Good first international for Neil Hatley, too. Recruited from Bath. Scrum has gone pretty well for the game. And it's going to be important. There you can see the South African, London Irish to Bath. You'll remember, of course, England have always owned the Australian scrum. And the World Cup arrived and Australia yes. tore England to pieces. So Hatley has an absolutely central role to the events in the next three weeks. Show the try scoring. You know what come to expect from him over many years. It's almost getting to that point where it doesn't really matter whether he gets his hands on the ball now. Game is almost gone. Almost. Here he is. Williams and North chasing. Lloyd Williams as well. Trying to claim that Mike Brown got a touch on that. 2013, and there's tingling nervous. It's a different game. So it has. It's a, a decent performance for England, but it's not definitive. You never know if it was a game-changing moment or game decided it. But it did feel very important. And England get a scrum penalty with just seconds left now. Well, it didn't feel important, Miles. It was important because it opened up a nine-point lead. Taylor into the line out, man of the match, launch free. England looking for one last send off try. No, they're not. Dare <laughs> says, we'll put it off. Oh, they could have given us a flourish, but England will be very satisfied with that. Five tries. And the final whistle, the final act of the domestic season, which all began in early August with those pre-World Cup warm-ups. Well, this build as a summer tour warm-up, and it's England who go down south in slightly better shape than their opponents today, Wales, courtesy of this final score, 27 to 13.